Well, good evening, YouTube, and welcome to another episode of the Albino Rhino Beer Review. Today you have the Rhino, and we're looking at a beer. Today's beer is in my hand. It's from Pile of Bones on Cameron Street here in Regina, Saskatchewan. It is 6% alcohol. It is Pile of Bones Chocolate Stout. I'm really intrigued to try this, to be honest. Uh, really intrigued. It looks almost like it's a Halloween beer. This decadent brew uses real cocoa and a healthy amount of lactose to make for a full-bodied chocolate experience. Roasted malts on the nose transition to intense chocolate with a touch of coffee in the palate. A rich, creamy mouthfeel finishes this fine brew. Ingredients, water, barley, oats, hops, lactose, liquid cocoa contains lactose. And again, 6% alcohol by volume. Let's, uh, let's get into this. Now, I've always been told from the people that have talked to me about some of the breweries in town that Pile of Bones is great at stouts. They're great at porters, sours, IPAs. Basically, they're great at everything is what I've been told. Um, the stouts I've had have been pretty fucking fantastic. I will not lie. Uh, that is a beautiful beer. It is not black. I can see through it to that light. I can see, first off, it's ruby red down here, but the rest of it's all a mahogany brown. It is a very, very nice beer, but you could just, just see through it. Mocha head. Snap, crackle, pop is real. Let's give her a sniff from the glass first. Wow. Put this back up here. So that head has staying power. I'll give it that. Chocolate, roastiness, toastiness. I'm not getting the coffee, but I'm getting a bit of tobacco smoke. So I'm getting tobacco smoke, a roastiness, a toastiness, a chocolatey note. That is a very, very, very nice beer. It's a very nice smelling beer, is what I should say, because I haven't tried the beer yet. So, slanche. That is very nice. It's not, it's not their coconut in paradise porter, but it's very nice. It's a very, very sessionable beer. The lactose mixed with the roasted malts, mixed with the oats, mixed with the cocoa makes an almost chocolate milk-esque flavoring from front to back, mixed with a roastiness, mixed with a toastiness, mixed with a little tiny touch of, of tobacco smoke. It's really good. It really is. I keep going to hold it like it's a goblet. I keep going to get like my two... I keep going to try and do something like this with it. And that just does not work, but that's what I keep going for. very drinkable beer. 6% alcohol again, so a little bit higher of an ABV. Not too, too high, but a little bit higher of an ABV. 
I'm getting, I don't taste the coffee. I, I won't say I do because I don't. I don't taste coffee. I taste tobacco smoke more than I taste coffee. Um, but tobacco smoke, a roastiness, a toastiness, a chocolateiness, a, a chocolate milk-like flavor. Mm, medium high in the body. It, it It's almost full mouth feel, but it's not quite there. It doesn't like envelop the mouth like some stouts do. However, it does leave sticky lips. So in the immortal words of Paul from PA Brew News, which I believe is now PA Outdoor Couple, um, it's stouty. It's stouty. And look at that. Look at how much shit has fallen into this. It now no longer looks black. It is brown at the bottom. There is splooge that came out at the bottom. So the question is, will the splooge taste the same as the non-splooge? Let's, let's see. Splooge is the same, just a little sweeter. I think the splooge tastes better. I don't know how I feel about the splooge tasting better, but the splooge tastes better. Out of 10 on this. I don't know if it's stout strut worthy, but it's very close. Um, you know what? No. It is a 9 out of 10. It's stout strut worthy, but uh, sorry for my own luck. I'm not standing up right now. I'm, I'm not. Uh, you know, I know I got fat since I got here. I put on about 15 more pounds on top of the like 30 pounds I put on in the, in the Arctic. I mean, I'm still sitting at about the same weight. I'm still sitting at like 289, but I mean, when I started dating my wife, I was like 230. So I'm a little disgusted that I put the 60 pounds on. I'm still, I'm still lower than I was when I was with Christy, but I'm higher than I was when I met Alicia. Well, re-met Alicia. And I just don't want to stand up. I don't feel comfortable right now because I'm looking at myself in the video and I'm like, oh God, I look like a tub of lard. Anyway, nine out of 10. It's a stout strut, but I'm gonna be like, mm, mm. Mm, this is the face she sees at night, guys. Mm. Oh, yeah. Okay, bye. <laughs> Pile of bones. Chocolate stout.